Seoul Chamber of Commerce's founder, first president, and co-chairman. She founded the organization in February of 2008. And almost a decade later, the WCC became an important voice in the community. One of the main WCC goals is to act as a liaison between organizations developing global business, creating synergy, and assisting companies to reach out to lucrative international markets. Furthermore, Solange developed the WCC humanitarian campaign, Human Trafficking Awareness to Keep Our Children Safe, to promote awareness of such a devastating crime for our society. Solange Warner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to thank each one of you for being here tonight, supporting the World Chamber of Commerce. The purpose of our chamber is to promote international trade and foster cultural and humanitarian exchange worldwide. Today, we are very proud to present to you an event regarding business and human trafficking awareness. Speakers will be talking about how all of us can become more vigilant regarding human trafficking, not only to support victims, but also to support the business community and therefore our economy. After this event, perhaps one day, you will be able to save a victim's life. Thank you very much. At this time, we will present tonight's WCC Humanitarian Awards to Allison Ash, Executive Director of Covenant House, and Jeff Shaw, Executive Director of Out of Darkness, both organizations saving children victims of human trafficking. Uh, we would love it if you would both uh, come to the podium now. Now there is a, to pull a brief quote from Covenant House, there is a grave misconception in this country that human trafficking is a trend relegated to foreign soil. But the painful truth is that human trafficking, one of the world's fastest growing criminal industries, is a monstrous issue in this country. And from out of darkness, operating a 24-hour hotline for victims trafficked requiring immediate rescue, their trained teams provide a quick and compassionate response to bring victims from places of darkness to a safe and loving home. Uh, thank you for saving victims' lives. Well, thank you so much. This is such a wonderful honor and, and so exciting for me, um, being with Covenant House Georgia, to um, receive this award on behalf of Covenant House and on behalf of the, the um, trafficking victims that we serve. Covenant House is a um, program that serves homeless teenagers um, across the United States, Canada, and Latin America. And here in Atlanta, we serve over 1,000 homeless teens a year. And last week, for the first time, we released a study that we um, did across 14 of our Covenant House cities in the United States that found that one in five homeless teens were trafficked um, while on the streets and homeless, and between 30 and 40 percent were sexually exploited, which means that they had to exchange sex for food or a place to stay when homeless. And um, this study was really important to us because while we've known for a long time at Covenant House that many of our young people had been trafficked, um, to definitively have the data and consistently find in all 14 cities that, that uh, mental of 20% of our kids had been trafficked, let us know that youth homelessness is one of the factors that we really have to tackle in order to change the landscape of trafficking. And there's so many pieces to the puzzle of figuring out how to solve human trafficking, but making sure that kids do not end up homeless and alone out on the streets is one of them. So appreciate very much on behalf of Covenant House this honor, and thank you all so much. Well, on behalf of Out of Darkness and our team, I want to say thank you as well. And it's important to understand that today slavery is illegal in every country in our world, and yet slavery is also more prevalent than any time in history, including the transatlantic slave trade. So what we're dealing with, it looks like 
conventional slavery, but it also looks like versions of commercial sexual exploitation, which we work to address. And it's children, but it's also women, it's girls, but it's also boys and men too. And it's important that we serve all vulnerable populations. And the one thing I wanna leave you with is that of the victims that we serve at Out of Darkness, the majority have experienced childhood sexual abuse or trauma prior to ever being trafficked or exploited. So we have to increase our efforts to raise awareness of childhood sexual abuse and our prevention efforts to make sure that it's not happening and that if and when it does, we're addressing it before it leaves that child homeless, on the street, and vulnerable to predators. So thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for your commitments to your work, your businesses, and your countries. And again, it's an honor. Thank you so much, Ms. Warner. Thank Appreciate you. it. Congratulations again to Allison Ash and Jeff Shaw. Also, the Honorable Ambassador Mark Logan, uh, the U.S. Ambassador at Large, former Director of the Office to Monitor and Combat Trafficking in Persons, uh, Chief Political Officer, Friends of the Global Fight Against AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria, is receiving the WCC Global Hero Award tonight in absentia. He had to fly to Rwanda for an emergency trip. He's uh, the previous CEO of Polaris, one of the most prominent uh, human trafficking combative uh, organizations in DC and worldwide. I just wanna, excuse me, I just would like to add that Ambassador Lagoon has taped a um, uh, thank uh, speech and unfortunately we had some you know technology issues but it will be uploaded in our web page so if any of you would like to go to our web page tomorrow we will have it there and you can hear his speech so thank you for that we would um, love to uh, take a moment uh, to um show you a little bit of a film just a little bit ahead. Uh, we also want to remind you of uh, the silent auction uh, taking place and uh, also the chance to uh, get to know one another through our networking event. Yes, and I would like to um, give a special thanks to a great radio personality that all of us know very well in Atlanta. And tonight, we are lucky to have him as an MC. He's a wonderful person. Please give a round of applause to John Lemley. John, we, we would like to ask you if you can give us an update and the work, you, the amazing work you've been doing um, with your uh, radio show, but also all the goals and plans you have. So please tell us a little bit more about your show. Classical music hosts are an endangered species these days. And um, I, I never imagined when I began um, as uh, a public radio uh, classical music host uh, in 1992 that uh, I, I might outlive my own industry. But I'm, I have fingers crossed, prayers said, that uh, classical music on the radio uh, continues to not only live, but to thrive. Uh, my program airs uh, Sunday afternoons from 3 until 6 p.m. on AM 1690, or better yet, you can listen in full dynamic stereo sound online, uh, 1690wmlb.com. And thank you again. Absolutely, thank you. Well, and also I would like to recognize tonight our new vice chairman. Uh, he has uh, been with the World Chamber of Commerce for many, many years, and he has just been elected new vice chairman for the World Chamber of Commerce. Please uh, welcome uh, Dan Moss being here. Dan, please thank you for all your work. As we continue uh, this afternoon's summit, we would like to uh, remind you once again to not only check out the silent auction, but also participate. Put your name on that list uh, and hopefully win the item you are after. The World Chamber of Commerce is donating to Covenant House and Out of Darkness all of the event's proceeds. Your contribution will be very meaningful and 
tax deductible. Additionally, the WCC will raffle a WCC membership, a value of $500 to all participants, and I'm quite honored that uh, Solange is doing this, that would click like at the WCC Facebook page and the John Lemley City Cafe page as well prior to the end of the event. We would like to welcome our guests of honor tonight. First, UN Ambassador Andrew Young, President of the Andrew Young Foundation and WCC Honorary Chairman and our keynote speaker tonight, the Andrew Young Foundation organizing the amazing Andrew Young International Leadership Awards. Uh, you'll want to visit andrewyoungfoundation.org for further information. We'd also like to welcome Senator Kurt Thompson uh, of the Georgia State Senate, Senator Donzella James, WCC Humanitarian Committee Chairman, Gareth Morgan, head of the North America for the Welsh Government Embassy of the United Kingdom. Nicholas Sidopoku, First Secretary Embassy of Benin, Alexander Durant, Cultural Attaché Embassy of France, Consul General of Belgium, William de Betz, uh, WCC uh, advisory board member. He's announcing a sister city uh, to the a sister city visit of Belgium's uh, city to Greenville, South Carolina next week, and Ambassador Dirk Waters' visit to Atlanta in June, June 14th through the 15th of next month. We also want to welcome Consul General of Ireland, Shane Stevens, Consul General of Mexico, Javier Diaz de Leon, Consul General of India, Nagash Singh, Consul of Lithuania, Dr. Roma Klikus, Dr. WCC President, Consul of Liberia, Synthony Lynn Blanford, WC board member as well. Today is uh, the Consul's birthday. Let's uh, give a resounding happy birthday to uh, the Consul of Liber uh, Liberia. Happy birthday. Also with us this afternoon, Consul of Ecuador, uh, Patricia Bozio, uh, WCC board member. Consul of the Philippines, Ray Donato, WCC advisory board member. Consul of Chile, Erica Monkeberg. Consul of Barbados, David Cutting, also a WCC advisory board member. Louise Fortin, Director, Economic Affairs, Quebec Government, Atlanta. Bobby Hunter, Globetrotter, uh, an original player with the Globetrotters. Former Consul of Italy, Angela Della Costanza and husband. Rhett Turner, President of Red Sky Productions. A candidate for mayor for the city of Atlanta, Mary Norwood, serving now on the city council. Commissioner, city of Atlanta, Keisha Powell. Dale Davis, NBA, NBA All-Star, CEO Pro Player Holdings, WCC Sports Committee Chairman. Dr. Heval Kiley, TED Talk Speaker, and uh, many other uh, guests that we may have missed. Uh, thank you very much. I would like to add somebody else. The, the World Chamber of Commerce had opened a chapter, and we have been very lucky to have an excellent chairman for the World Chamber of Commerce of Texas. Please welcome Tariq Selik. Tariq, please stand up. Thank you. Thank you for your support to the World Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. We now want to bring you some scenes from the film that we spoke about, uh, one focused on human trafficking. Uh, Solange is going to tell us a little bit more about this before we see the, the film clip. I would like to thank uh, Donald Shanshkra, who is the film producer who has created a film about human trafficking called Home. Uh, we have a trailer that we have shown our webpage and our announcements. We will show just one scene from that here tonight. 
But uh, I encourage all of you to follow uh, his webpage. We will have this information on our webpage as well. It's a very um, special uh, movie that talks about some of the victims and, you know, maybe some misconceptions about human trafficking here in Georgia. So I would like to welcome Donald. I don't know if Donald is still here or he's here yet, but we will show his uh, trailer now. Donald, there you are. Please say thank you, uh, Donald, and applause uh, for Donald Shanks. Thank you. Again, a scene there, a trailer for the film Home, uh, focused on human trafficking. Donald Crenshaw, producer, film producer and director. And uh, we look forward to uh, following the success of this film in release. We'd like to introduce and recognize now Jan Lennon, director of security for Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport for uh, making uh, the presentation this afternoon. Uh, she has definitely gone uh, above and beyond the call of duty in making uh, this presentation today possible. Good afternoon. Hartsville-Jackson Airport is committed to educating the airport community about human trafficking. We have activated an endless passion to end, not just reduce, but end human trafficking around the world. We can no longer sit back and allow this insidious crime to rob our youth of their purpose their joy, their dreams, their desires, their innocence, and their mere existence. Human trafficking is believed to be the third largest criminal activity in the world. Victims are weakened, silenced, and trapped in many situations. They become, in effect, modern day slaves. And while globalization has provided greater connectivity for travelers of all ages, airports and airlines provide a hidden conduit for human trafficking. Human trafficking is largely unnoticed, but it is happening all over the world. More than 3,000 people are sold or kidnapped or forced into slavery. And these are just the cases that we know about. We know for sure as that these numbers are rapidly rising. At any given time, two million children are being trafficked into the global sex trade, and it happens to boys too. Myth versus reality, as we spoke about earlier, human trafficking has no face, it has no personality, it could be anyone. It could be a doctor, a lawyer, the priest, the people we trust the most. It can even be your parents. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't